Pisces, welcome back to the channel. I'm on Eilina. We are, my love's going to tap into your overall energy, seven day predictions, love messages, career, earthly abundance. We're going to get a kipper spread out here, okay? I'm happy you're here. The moon is in your sign. I tried to do your reading while the moon was in Aquarius. It ain't happened. Okay, so we are right now. I pray these messages find you well, help and heal, babies. And let's go ahead and tap right on in, okay? What's your overall energy, my Pisces? Okay. Um, your fellow water sign, Cancerian, got this one too. I'm going to cover it. It's a lot of nudity. You have anima and animus. This, for me, really represents... Um, the lovers and the tarot deck is very synonymous with the lovers imagery so we definitely could be talking about partnership if not that with you and other people whether romantic or platonic we're talking about integration within self okay integrating your divine feminine and masculine energies and as i say that spirit is telling me that some of you there is an imbalance like some of you are maybe lean more or have leaned more into the masculine or the feminine and so there's a rebalancing of this and spirit is saying you will be seeing this you know in your physical action so if there's a lack of masculine energy you might feel this urge to do to take action if there's an imbalance in the feminine energy you might feel more of an urge to attract step back relax okay you have hope big water number 36 or nine okay we're gonna clarify all these as well Hmm, they're drawing me to the anchor she's holding. Uh-oh, you got unexpected money with the number 27 and 9 again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, you have short illness with the number 31 or 4. All right, let's clarify these. Some of you might be taking a trip because I'm, uh, I'm hearing little Einsteins. Going on a trip been our favorite i don't judge how my uh, guides and how the universe chooses to communicate with me so if they give me a song and it's kind of silly it's kind of out there i just don't question i'm, I'm gonna tell you okay <laughs> clarify anima and animus for pisces judgment honey and the three of pentacles all right some of you could be dealing with scorpio energy um yeah this is about partnership for you Ooh, we in the tower it's getting a big shake up your partnerships are getting a big shake up um for some of you it's going to be romantic for some of you work for some of you both okay um can something go on the way that it has okay i also feel like we are we're coming through we're about to go through the lion's gate portal so what is able to um grow what relationships in your life are able to grow what relationships in your life are growing as you are growing okay it's time for review that's what i'm hearing it's time for review clarify hope big water eight of swords in reverse here four of pentacles that's about okay and the high priestess here so i see you're not worried about something anymore you shouldn't be with the high priestess here that's your energy there's this innate knowing that something is going to work out and i do feel like it's something financial with the four of pentacles here okay um let's go ahead and clarify unexpected money see if we get more out of that temperance yep king of cups so you could be getting some outside help i feel like you that was in your reading for what to expect this week go check that out it's already posted okay king of cups here in the seven of wands if you're worried about money or something like that like it's coming somebody there's a gift seriously something i don't feel like you're expecting i do feel like it's gonna quell any type of stress or worries that you have at the moment surrounding you know finances material abundance please clarify mental illness mental illness that thing don't say mental illness it's a short illness <laughs> the four of pentacles but that could be saying something okay in the ten of pentacles here okay so this could be with the ten of pentacles um this doesn't have to be you this can be like a family member or something like that but also guys what i'm getting is if if you are feeling a little sick or tired or it could just be a lack of energy okay that you are exhausted okay so make sure that you are not trying to live up to everyone else's expectations and that you are just holding yourself to your own standards okay holding yourself to your own standards see queen of swords seven of swords okay stop overextending yourself biting off more than you could chew taking off every taking care of everyone but yourself okay i'm gonna clear this out and then we're gonna get into your seven day predictions all right guys let's jump into your seven day predictions all right 
got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles in the world. You are addressing like a lack of love in your life, in your relationships. I really do see that. And you've been carrying that around for a really long time. Some of you dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's been a struggle. And I feel like you're at your wit's end. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Something has been a struggle as far as relationships or love. Or you could, Pisces, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, you could be understanding like how blocked you may be, how blocked your heart space may be. Okay. Clarify the five of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Five of cups in reverse. The eight of pentacles. I do feel like you're in the realization of a blockage. Okay. Because you have the eight of pentacles here in the fool. So you know what you need to work on. Clarify this ace of cups in reverse or what needs to change in your relationships. The knight of cups. King of swords and the four of pentacles. So your... Um, your feelings for somebody have definitely changed, okay? How you've lost somebody romantically has definitely changed. Um, and I feel like you're at the point where you really have to acknowledge that, like, you can't move forward in this energy. Clarify the world, and I don't think you will. The world is here, so something is going to change, whether you end it or it changes form. Yep, the death card just came out to clarify that. And the seven of swords. So you can't play a role anymore in your relationships unless it's your authentic self. Period. Whatever relationships. Romantic, work, friendships. <coughs> yep. What's the guidance here? The five of wands. Mm, you got to shake the shit up. It's too comfortable. And the comfort is boring to you now. You don't feel the same way about certain things in your life. It's time to shake it up. It is going to cause disrupt, disruption with the five of wands or it already is. So you might as well keep going with it. What do I mean? What does spirit mean by that? Keep acknowledging your truth. I'm not happy in this. Damn, I've been unfulfilled. Damn, what makes me happy now? Maybe it's changed or evolved. Yep, three of wands and the ten of wands. Try not to you know be an escapism because that's a part of you know running from this energy it's time to face it and um spirit is not going to allow you not to okay all right let's clear this out and let's get your love message out all right pisces let's tap into love oh, five of pentacles <clears throat> three of swords that's what i'm saying in the present moment <clears throat> oh two of cups seven of wands and the three of wands i don't think you want to let the relationship go um or you know your hope for love if you're single but i do think three of swords in the present moment you are acknowledging okay or if you have not consciously acknowledged it it's coming up subconsciously either a block on your heart your ability to be loved receive love give love or again, you're feeling simply changing in a situation. Okay. Clarify. Five of Pentacles. Some of you dealing with the Gemini. Clarify the Three of Swords. The Strength card and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you don't want this to end. Yeah, Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever this is between you and this person, it's not going to end. Y'all want to fight for it. I can see it. Some of you dealing with a Leo. Clarify the two of cups. Seven of wands and the nine of cups. Y'all want each other. Six of pentacles and the queen of wands. I don't know what this is, okay? Whether y'all are in a relationship or you're single, you just need to get back to what makes you happy. Because if you're with somebody, if you do have a romantic partner, you have to be happy to make them happy. But what I'm seeing is there's like this backwardness of you trying to make them happy or everyone else happy in your relationships and then thinking that's going to make you happy. What Spirit is saying, you will lose your identity in those relationships and forget who you are. Okay, and that's where Spirit is saying some of you have been. And you're finally acknowledging the pain that you've been feeling. Maybe you couldn't put your finger on it. But you just knew there was a disconnect. I don't feel the same way. And 
Okay. What's your guidance for Pisces in love? The Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. Getting to the root. The Fool. There is a new beginning here, but you have to strip your ego down or pride and be able to admit when you're just not satisfied anymore. Okay. Any other guidance? I wish, you know, I want to give you more Pisces, but even when I came to your reading yesterday, I felt very quiet i felt very introverted and i think that's where spirit is leading you what what you're seeking right now is really not outside of yourself it's just not and I, I wish i could you know give you you know um yeah the hangman queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles that's you hangman you need to retreat within okay i'm not saying go hide away for a week and miss work <laughs> But it, you, you got to get back to what's, what makes you happy, Pisces. For real. Okay? So you don't get lost in the sauce. All right? I'm going to clear this out. We're going to get career earthly abundance. All right, babies. Let's get career earthly abundance out here. For Pisces, the fool. Some of you recently started a new job or a new position. Three of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Fruitful. That's what I... Ooh. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Fruit full. Okay, I do feel like in career earthly abundance, like it just looks really lively. It looks like your finances are coming back to life, getting back on track, or something about your earthly abundance. Right? It's just it it, it rings stability. All this. Just look at all that yellow and orange and just beautiful. That's just beautiful. It looks so fruitful. Okay. Clarify the three of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, that's dope. So you are going to be, or you already are, you're going to be working with other people, okay, during these next seven days um, or, you know, this month, whenever you see this, okay, there is collaboration, connection. You guys are going to be working hard with the Knight of Pentacles here. He is the slowest moving knight, but it's hard work. It's not, he, he at least he's not a procrastinator, okay? So, you know, you're going to be dealing with people who are really trying to get some shit done, and it's going to pay off. Nine of Pentacles, everybody going to eat. Everybody going to eat. Okay, clarify Nine of Pentacles, please. In, in case you need it more confirmation ace of pentacles i'm hearing because in every dark cloud there's a silver line and maybe this is your silver lining because you ain't you got nothing but pentacles coming out in your career and earthly abundance spread that's beautiful that's alignment that is fruitful okay so you got the ace of pentacles here ace of wands and judgment so some of you might be um working on something so that you get to a certain point because you have the eight of pentacles and then it actually is followed by the nine of pentacles so it's like things in order so you could be working on something to get something to a certain point because the nine of pentacles is also harvesting okay right like you see she's out there those pentacles like they're they're bearing fruit now something's going to be bearing fruit in the near future and i didn't even catch this i clarify the nine of pentacles with the ace of pentacles that's the ten that's the 10. Something is reaching complete completion and career and earthly abundance. It is very fruitful. Keep up the diligence in the present moment with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Keep up the hard work. Whatever team you're working with with the Three of Pentacles, they, they got the vision. It feels like everybody's aligned. This is beautiful. I really love this for you. Okay, let's get your guidance. <laughs> Ten of Swords. In the four of wands so i feel like this is connected like i feel like it's taking us back to the beginning the more that you acknowledge the discomfort in your life the dissatisfaction in your life you don't know but you are doing that seems minor you're unblocking heavy shit money blockages earthly abundance blockages you wonder why things are not manifesting because if we're not being honest with ourselves about where we actually are in the present moment 
right? I know we on this spiritual journey, everybody. Oh, I'm so ascended. Oh, love and light, peace. What about the darkness? What about your shadow? All right? So we have to be able to acknowledge this because like I tell y'all all the time, I know I can be redundant, but repetition is good. <laughs> okay? These blockages do not just stay in one area of your life. You think your heart is blocked only in love. No, your heart is blocked in love partnerships, business partnerships, friendships. It's blocked. You can't do that. It's not compartmentalized that way. It's blocked with your kids then, you know? So you do yourself a huge service when you admit the truth to yourself. All right. That's what I have for you guys. It was very woo-woo today. Um, but I, I pray that you got something out of that seriously. And I pray that these messages find you well, helping heal Pisces. I love y'all. All right. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye.